I don't know if you can see the disgust on my face. The Tom was already on the ground. He was down in there. I guess you can figure out what happened next. Gone. Okay, I made it into Kentucky. It's a little after three. We're gonna wade across this small creek right here. And I've got three points. Our pins already made. I made those back at uh, my house yesterday. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find. The uh, gun season, I think there's a quota hunt this weekend. It opens this weekend. So we're in Kentucky the week before the gun season. And this is supposed to be a pretty good spot in here. So I've never hunted in here before. So, like I said, I dropped a few pins. We're going to go scout, find the freshest sign, and try to get set up. I'm the less than last time. I went. I didn't bring my rubber boots. Ended up having to take my shoes off to access the place I wanted to go. We got deer tracks already here. Someone's in here, and I don't, obviously this is public land or game lands. It's actually a WMA, so I'm just going to go to my pens. Like I said, I'm going to scout for the best sign get set up. Okay, we've got another probably three-eighths of a mile to go. As you can see how this lays in here, you got a bottom, and then... On this side over here, you got a creek bottom. And I was really tempted when I walked in just to set up right next to the road.
Uh, this is day two of my Kentucky trip. And I'm looking down at this creek bottom in here. And I didn't notice this yesterday, but there's a pipeline, or actually a power line, <clears throat> comes off that ridge above us. You can see how thick that is. And it drops right down into that creek bottom. So I'm thinking about moving. I'm going to hang in here another day or two in the current setup. I did some scouting today, found some fresh tracks in there, but I'm still sitting on the freshest buck sign I've seen. And I really hate to go scouting all over and try to, there's another deer trail right there. Yeah, that is thick. There's another trail. That's super thick in there. I'm thinking this might be one of those times I take my own advice and hunt somewhere close to the access road. All right, shooting light's pretty much over for the, the camera anyway. So I'm heading back under this stand three times. I haven't seen a deer out of this stand. So as you can tell, I've got my stand on my back. It was 1.1 miles in here. So I'm gonna go to another spot, get it set up, and hopefully we'll see something, you know, a little early in the morning. That's the thing about hunting, you know, out of state, in state, you just gotta stick with it. It's like, you know, I talked about the October lull depending on where you're at. And I'm in WMA. There's no food plots in here that I'm hunting. And, uh, you know, you're just hunting natural vegetation, natural forage. It makes it a little bit more difficult. And then you got to look at the buck doe ratio and the buck density. So those things come into play. But it's just being out here, you know, you just got to be able to enjoy that part too. But the main goal is to kill something. So we're going to move this stand and I'm going to go to another location. Okay, this is day four of my hunt. Day four, day three. Day three of my hunt in Kentucky. And uh, I had planned on coming in on Monday. The weather was bad, it was rainy all day Monday, so I had to wait until Tuesday. Now I gotta get back. Um, got some things I gotta do. So I got a three day hunt in, and I basically saw one deer while I was on my stand. Now I saw two more coming out. You know, one was at night. And then the other one was midday when I was going to grab some lunch. So not a very productive hunt. This is the first time I've hunted in Kentucky. So I'm just really getting used to it. And I, you probably hear the background noise. I was hiking in just over a mile. I think it's a mile, 1.1 miles. And found quite a bit of buck sign, but it had just really dried up. And stayed in that stand for two days and didn't see anything. So this last day I decided to come out and hunt this creek bottom. But as you can tell, it's really close to the road, but there's a lot of fields in here. Really good thick areas for deer to bed. Unfortunately, the temperature's gonna get in the 80s uh, by tomorrow, mid 70s today, this afternoon. So it's really suppressed the deer movement. So this may be part one, may have to make a return trip. This is about a little over three hour drive, so it's not that bad. Um, I've got to get back and get ready because 
got a trip to Ohio with my son-in-law. We do this, you know, every year. This is our annual trip, and that's the primary trip. So hopefully the deer movement will pick up. I did see <clears throat> a spike this morning. They had crossed the road coming in. So maybe the deer movement's starting to pick up a little bit. But that's, that's the thing about hunting on public land, or this is a WMA in our state. It's called Game Lands or National Forests. It's, it's one of those situations where it's, it's tough, but once you get in, you get acclimated, you start moving around and just, you know, jockeying your position a little bit, you'll start finding the deer. So if I come back, I think I'm going to hunt more of this creek bottom, even though it's really close to the road. I just think people are walking past it. That's one of those deals where it's so close to the access point, people are saying, nah, I'm not hunting in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get down. Uh, it's after 12. I'm going to get me something to eat and then hit the road. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in Ohio.